Hey everyone, I'm Chris McCormick. I've been working on some tutorials for my fellow machine learning engineers to explain how some of these new art generation models like Dolly 2 and Stable Diffusion actually work internally, so all the math and that kind of stuff. But as I've been working on those, I just cannot help but play around with them and try to generate art. And if you've used them at all, I think you, you probably know that it's relatively easy to create something that's eye-catching and novel and inspiring, but it can be really difficult to actually get it to do what you want and create something that feels like a finished piece of artwork that you could actually use in some way. As I try to figure out these models and make them do what I want, I've been learning a number of useful uh, techniques and tricks and then finding valuable tools and resources that are out there to help. So I wanted to share what I'm learning uh, in the form of this video series. As soon as I'm done with this long-winded explanation of, of what's ahead, the first thing we're gonna be doing is getting on the web and generating an image from some text. So immediately you'll be able to play around with that. And then creating art with these tools is really all about uh, something called prompt design. You'd probably think of this more as uh, taking a, a caption, writing a caption for an image, and then having the model generate an image from your caption. Uh, but because we're, we're giving text to the model, we're prompting the model to generate something based on our text, the, the technical term is, is a prompt for the text input. Prompt design is a, a very strange art form. I'll show you a couple approaches to it. Uh, one is a little more deliberate and the other involves leveraging work that other people have done. Uh, and then we'll, I'll, I'll give you some insights into what you can expect to work well or not uh, with these models. So I, I chose this, this example because he's got two hands on the guitar there. <laughs> so next episode, I'll explain some of the settings that you'll find in any generation tool you use. I won't talk about them yet since they won't make any sense. Um, but then I've got a free tool that you can use to generate art. Um, I'll demonstrate how to run it, how you can use it. And it's uh, something, all you need is a web browser. It's gonna run on, actually in Google's cloud on a GPU and it runs for free, which is pretty crazy, thanks Google. Then this is a bit of a quirky topic, but if you're trying to go reliably from an idea for a piece of art all the way to a finished project product, something that you can publish or, or use, then there's gonna be a number of steps that you're gonna follow. Um, you might call that your workflow, and I have some suggestions for that. Finally, um, the notebook, the tool that I've created for generation, if you're a Python programmer, um, I designed it to be relatively simple to modify. So I kept it clean, well commented, um, and instead of being uh, feature rich and full of configuration settings, it's, it's basic, but you could go in and um, modify it however you wanted to better suit your, your personal workflow. So I'll, uh, I'll talk through the code to, to help any Python programmers understand how to do that. And that's all I've got outlined, but there's other important topics. Um, in painting and out painting, these refer to, in painting is when you erase part of an image and have the model regenerate that portion of it. And then outpainting is when you take an image and then have the model generate additional content outside of it, so kind of expand it. Um, the model also supports blending now. So basically it's standard Photoshop, like I've got this picture of my family and I wanna Photoshop in a unicorn on the side, right? Uh, the model can help you with blending the two. Uh, upscaling is an important topic as well since the, the art generated by these models is relatively low resolution, so. There's uh, techniques for upscaling well, but I'm sure there'll be more than that, but that's what I've got for now. So let's get into generating our first piece of artwork. <laughs> 